Hello, geometry. So today we're talking about 9.6, which is inverse trig functions, okay? So we know that um, if we know the angle on one side, we can use trig functions to figure out the other side. Well, what if you know the sides, but you don't know the angle, and you want to figure out what the angle is? So remember, all of the ratios, all of these, these trig functions, the ratios, are unique for angles. What do I mean by that? I mean that sine of 3 degrees is 0 0.0523. Sine for that angle will always be 0 0.0523, no matter what. That is unique, okay? There is no other sine ratio in this huge big table, which, oh, by the way, this thing is huge. We used to have volumes of books on all of these, taking this out, like, to the hundredths of a degree. Um, it's unique. That's the only time sine will ever be 0 0.03 or 0 0.0523. That's the only time. So if I find that sine ratio is equal to 0.523, then I can look up that it was 3 degrees, okay? So that's what's really cool and unique about this. So I do want to remind you right here, we know our tangent is opposite over adjacent. If we're looking at our little triangle here, that would mean that for tangent of B, that would be AC over BC. Cosine of angle B would be adjacent over hypotenuse, which would be BC over AB. And then sine for angle B would be opposite over hypotenuse, which is AC over AB. So we know this already. The inverse is where we flip. We take our ratio and we put it in for B, and B goes out. So we basically solve for the angle. Basically what you're doing is you're looking it up on this table, okay? That's what you're doing. So this is what the inverse looks like. And this is for when you're looking for an angle. This is a missing side. This is for an angle. So highlight that angle on there if you're missing an angle. So um, if you are missing angle B and you know the opposite and adjacent, you would plug in AC over AB. Um, and this little negative 1 is on the calculator as well. So you can see right here in you can see right here in green, we've got inverse tangent, inverse cosine, inverse sine. Okay? That's what that means. It means inverse. So if you hit um, second, it will pop that in. So the inverse tangent of, um, actually, I just did sine, didn't I? So let's do inverse sine 4.0523, because that was the one I read off to you. It should pop out with a 3 degrees. Hey, look at that, 2.997. So um, we're going to practice some of these, all right? So cosine is still adjacent over hypotenuse. Sine is still opposite over hypotenuse. The inverse just flips where the angle is and where the ratio is. It just flips it, and it looks it up for you. That's all it does. So with our example right here, um, oh, yeah, identify the parts you know first, then choose one. Okay, identify what you know first, just like we have been, right? Identify what you know, then choose one. So Katoa is one way to remember the order um, right, which ones go with which. Uh, here's another anagram, anagram, mnemonic device, I think. Some old horse caught another horse tripping on apples. It's another way of, you know, remembering it. These are memory tools. Okay, they're not tricks. They're tools to help you remember. So let's take a look at A. All right, let's take a look at A here. And A, we have um, this triangle. So here's our angle, x degrees. We know the hypotenuse, we don't know the adjacent, and we know, or we don't know the opposite, and we know the adjacent. So we know hypotenuse and adjacent. What do I need? I need cosine. So we're going to have cosine of angle X is equal to the adjacent is 10, the hypotenuse is 37. Now here's the cool thing. If I type that in, 10 divided by, oops, 10 divided by 37, I get 0 0.2702. So if I look at my cosine on here, right, I want to find... 0 0.27027. So that's going to be right around here. So it should be around 74 degrees. Okay? Now, again, we used to have books, entire books on this. Your calculator has it all in there. Woohoo! Technology. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit inverse cosine, right? Second cosine. And I'm going to flip flop where my X are and my 1037 is. So I'm going to now do. 10 divided by 37. All right, and this is going to look up what that angle is. We know from this that it should be about 74 degrees, about. Hey, look at that. It's 74.3196.
So this just looks up for you. All right, it just looks up for you. So you get 74.3 because we're rounding to the nearest tenth. 70, excuse me, 74.3. So the inverse just flip-flops. All right, the inverse just flip-flops. Let's do another example now that you can actually see it. This is what happens when I record and you're not here live. Oops. All right, so our next one that we want to talk about um, is this guy right here. So it's B, all right, it's B. So we know the opposite and the adjacent for our angle X there. So we are going to have a sine, or, or excuse me, a tangent. We want tangent. So we have tangent, which is 18 over 20, all right, 18 over 20. When I do the inverse, I flip-flop where these two are. So my X is going to switch with my 18 20 so They're just going to flip-flop. So you see that? I just flip-flopped them, and I've got my inverse written there now. So if we have 18 divided by 20, that decimal is 0.9. Well, if I look on here for tangent, 0.9 is going to be about 42 degrees. You see that? 42 degrees. So we know the inverse tangent, 18 divided by 20, should be... 41.987. So yeah, it's about 42 degrees. So pretty close. Pretty close. So that's all you're doing, really. You need a calculator for this. Um, you can use my little pink sheet. It will work for you. But just so you know, calculator is going to be the best way to do it. So try out the rest of the problems on this page. Um, the back side, the very bottom of this page, you'll notice actually has um, the answers for the back side on it. So I will show you the other answers. And then down here, these are the answers for the back. So practice. Email me if you have any questions.